Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0 FXB, calling for a contact on Reflector 30. Okay, we've got our DV stick plugged in here. You can see we've selected Ambi here. M0 FXB, this is KC2 GKT. We've selected Ambi so we can keep an eye on our D-Star speaker and mic gain to make sure we're not too loud. M0 FXB, yeah, very good afternoon from the UK. It's coming up for 5 p.m. here. Thought I'd test out my DV stick and see how it's sounding if I need to make any audio adjustments. So I'm talking into my laptop using Blue DV and a DV Stick 30. Back to you, name Andreas. And then we're linked here. Link okay, Andreas, Reflect the 30. And we're coming to you from uh, Greetings from the United States. And I think I've seen you before. Aren't you, uh, aren't you that bloke that has that channel on uh, YouTube? You talk about all the radios and stuff like that. Is that you? Paul. Paul. So this is Paul. So to, to transmit, I click this where it says Ambi. M0 FXB. Yeah, I do do some YouTube videos. And I spend all day just playing with radios. I'm so lucky because I work from home. And I just tinker with different devices all day long. <laughs> so how are you doing, Paul? Nice to meet you. Back to you. Hopefully he got me. Yeah, I think I saw some of those. Uh, you had some videos on the ID52 and all that stuff. I just got an ID. I'm not talking on it now, but I just got an ID52. So I was watching some of your videos to... Uh, help to get me started with it. The one thing I noticed, though, is that I tried using that, that Bluetooth phone app, and um, I don't think that's updating the repeater database in the phone, or in the radio, rather. I think it's just updating the repeater database in the phone itself, at least on the iOS device. I'm not sure if it's any different for Android, if you're using it on Android or not. I don't remember. But... Um, I did notice that, I think you said in the video that it was updating the list in the radio. But when I did those same steps, it just seemed to update the list in the app itself, and the list of my radio was still blank. So I had to go through and uh, put them with the, uh, with the regular computer app there, the computer program, rather. Yeah, Roger, probably, yeah. I, I made that video quite a long time ago, and I, I think you're probably right. I tend to go to, is it D-Star Info? And grab the file from there, um, and then redo it, you know, every, every, every few months. But it's a fantastic radio, isn't it? I've still got my 51, uh, but I do love the 52. I mean, I, I, I just enjoy it. It's just fun, just nice to use. So, uh, well, glad you got it sorted. Back to you.
M0FXB coming back with a final. Yeah, I've been on the 991A most of the morning, but I dug out this uh, DV stick. So have you tried repeater book? You can download all of the repeaters in different formats. And I, I have done a video on how to do that. Now, bringing it into uh, your 52, my favorite is actually RT Systems, but the, the ICOM software is very good, isn't it? That you get for free. So you just go to repeater book, select your area, and then click export and choose the type of file you want. And it works great. So if you put in ICOM 52 RT Systems M0FXB, you'll see exactly what I, what I did. And uh, it's $25 if you buy it um, where you are. So, okay, you take care, Paul. Thanks for the shout back. And then catch you on air soon, M0FXB. So there you go. Thought I'd give you a demo, 7 free.